It is Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Uh, last night was the second opportunity for the World of Outlaws to be featured live on Fox Sports 1. They ran late models and sprint cars at Knoxville in a features-only show. Uh, kicking off the night was the sprint cars for a 35-lap feature. Unlike the Dirt Vision races, these races are invite-only, um, and so they don't include qualifying. They don't include any prelim action. Uh, and so you, you basically, like the Dirt Vision shows, you've seen, you know, 50. 60 cars uh, show up for those these ones uh, the last I think last night was 21 cars in both features so much more trimmed down feature um, uh, much more trimmed down field uh, to, to go to you know, into the feature uh, last night we saw some newcomers Juan Pablo Montoya Bubba Wallace uh, in the sprint car show um, to kind of add a little bit more of a, a little bit different flair to the, to the night and, and to bring in some different names to compete against some of the dirt stars uh, Brian Brown and Robbie Kendall started on the front row with Kendall jumping out to an early lead Kendall led the first 14 laps and then Kevin Swindell ran him down from his eighth starting spot Swindell led a handful of laps um, there right after he took the lead, but Larson ended up running him down. He jumped into the mix on lap 18 and took the lead. Swindell and Larson kind of battled for that top spot for the next 10 or 12 laps, and Swindell ended up retaking the lead from Larson on lap 28. Uh, and then while trying to kind of track Swindell back down, Larson ended up jumping the cushion, um, and he got into the fence. That kind of shuffled him back down the order. The way the track was last night, it was pretty wide, um, and you kind of had guys all over the track, but that top was super treacherous. That, that cushion was very very, very small, um, and it was really easy to kind of get over it and into the outside fence there at Knoxville. Uh, Larson getting into the fence basically let Swindell out to a, a pretty big lead. Uh, he drove away to grab his first iRacing World of Outlaws $1,000 win. Christopher Bell finished second with Austin McCarl third, Bill Baylog fourth, and Logan Schuhart in fifth. Baylog's fourth place finish secured him the hard charger with his having started in the 15th spot. Uh, that means uh, he was hard charger two nights in a row because he was hard charger the night before um, on Tuesday with the sprint cars on Dirt Vision. It was really neat win for Swindell, you know, with his history and, and you know, kind of what went on for, in the past for him at Knoxville. Um, and he's been in a lot of a lot of these iRacing shows, both the sprint cars and the late models, and has been fast in a lot of them. Uh, last night he was able to grab that first win, which is pretty cool. And then his his kind of you know donuts after the race, you know, he started spinning around, and then the car got on its side, and the car was still spinning around on its side. And you know, he was pretty pumped up afterwards, which was pretty neat. Uh, you know, I and I, I tweeted about this yesterday, but we we basically got people admitting to cheating we've got race fans complaining about literally all of it um and so for something that's supposedly just a video game it sure feels pretty real to me but Juan Pablo Montoya he finished back in 17th Bubba was 15th uh, just to give you uh, an idea of where some of those other guys finished uh, in the late model feature it was all Corey Gordon he started in the third position but led all 40 laps and route to his first thousand dollar iRacing late model win a lot of action behind him uh, Caden Cornell Logan CV Ashton Winger Nick Stroop Bobby Pierce all of these guys kind of battling uh, right ar right around that top five in the end, it was Stroop finishing second with Cornell third, Winger fourth, and CV's win streak ends with his fifth place finish. Newcomers Austin Dillon and Bubba Wallace finished 13th and 16th respectively. I guess I should have mentioned Austin Dillon uh, was part of the late model race. It's so funny, like the, you know, the, the the problems that kind of exist in the real racing world obviously get alleviated by racing in the virtual world, but this whole other set of problems then exists in the virtual world. And Austin Dillon tweeted about that he, he ended up starting uh, the race last Late that he didn't realize that the race was starting, got into the server late, was a, a immediately a lap down, and then had to kind of race his way back onto the lead lap. Between that and things like computer and internet issues, it's it's you know it, like I said, you, you kind of trade one set of problems for the other, and there's other things that can kind of take guys out of the show. Um, it was interesting to kind of see that with Austin last night. If you don't know who Corey Gordon is, he's a late model racer. He lives in Charlotte, uh, races around the southeast. I know he's won uh, some races, uh, at least here in Charlotte. He, he won uh, one of the races at the World Short Track Championship, and he won a fuel series race at the Dirt Track at Charlotte as well. Um, but he's also an accomplished iRacer. So pretty neat to get him uh, to see him get that win, uh, kind of running that Chris Madden paint scheme for for you know the the Team Zero Bloomquist cars with Dryden all over it. Um, neat looking race car and, and cool to see him get that win. As we look ahead, the World of Outlaws i racing schedule is still really fluid. Nothing for the next week is set. We don't know about another Fox Sports One show. We don't know about when the next shows are going to be on Dirt Vision. Um, so we'll keep you posted as uh, posted as officials kind of decide what's next and and when things are going to be scheduled and and how that's going to go moving forward. I did see that they have. <coughs> 
<coughs> sprint car and late model iRacing merchandise now. Uh, if you'd like the sprint car stuff, you can find that on the World of Outlaws store. And if you would like the late model stuff, you can find that um, over at, I think it's at gotterace.com. Uh, if you want to check out some of the uh, <laughs> the the quarantine tour uh, uh, gear that they've got, uh, moving over to the other big uh, late model race last night was the last night was the second prelim night for the Schaefer's Spring Fling. It was another full night of action, which included three full programs. Um, they had you know qualifying heat races, bees basically three times over last night. In the first program, Howard Weaver, Shad Prescott, and C.J. Phillips transferred um, uh, into tomorrow night's action. Last year's winner, Dylan Fox, was one spot outside the transfer, um, as was uh, one of the top eye level or top eye level top level eye racers, Blake Cannon. Uh, they will have to try and transfer in from tonight's last chance qualifier races. Moving over to feature number two, it was Zach Leonardi winning with Zach McSwain and Jacob Fields also transferring. Leonardi is a past uh, World of Outlaws eye racing pro series. Um, um, champion, so he's a very accomplished racer himself. Kendall Tucker was in a transfer spot late, but Jacob Fields got by with only a few laps left, and then Tucker took a big shot at him coming to the checkered. Uh, they made contact, and and uh, I believe just past the checkered Fields might have been, actually even ended up spinning out, but Fields was able to hold him off for that spot. In the final feature of the night, it was Evan C grabbing the win with Dylan Wilson and Austin Carr getting the other two transfer spots. C dominated most of that race. But the action behind him was pretty crazy. Both Wilson and Carr had to make big moves to get inside those transfer spots. Austin Semmelman, Adam Elby, and Trent Ivey were some of the names who were on the outside looking in in that third feature. All of those guys will have work to do tonight um, to be able to get into the big money feature. Looking forward to tonight's program, they'll have three last chance qualifier races. They will be 30 laps each, starting 24 drivers. Only the top two from those three races will then transfer to the back of the night's feature. Uh, and then after that is the 100 lap main, a main event with the winner taking home $4,000. Locked into the feature after two nights, I'm going to give you the full list of guys so far um, going in tonight that are in the feature is Blake Majulis, Jordan Casey, Alex Bergeron, Austin Matthews, Hayden Cardwell, Randall Carter, James Edens, Grant Riles, Devin Cardwell, Howard Weaver, Shad Prescott, C.J. Phillips, Zach Leonardi, Zach McSwain, Jacob Fields, Evan C., Dylan Wilson, and Austin Carr. All of those guys are locked into the big race tonight um, with six more coming from those last chance qualifiers. You can watch all the action live on Dirt Under's Facebook page starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll definitely be tuned into that to see, you know, kind of how that race goes, and certainly we'll break that down on the show tomorrow. Plus, if you get the hard luck award tonight, you get $50 courtesy of Dirt Tracker. So um, I will definitely be uh, tuning into that and checking that out tonight. USAC has released entry lists for tonight's iRacing Challenge and Saturday's, uh, it's hard to say, $20,000 and $20 to win Invitational. Um, unlike last week, there uh, aren't any pro-level iRacing guys included on these entry lists. Um, so it, the way it kind of worked out is, is it basically looks like you have had to compete with USAC in a national event in the last two years to be eligible uh, to be in on the iRacing uh, events now. And so like, you know, last week's winner, Brandon Rogers, guys like Alex Bergeron that were in last week's midget program, those guys are not allowed in this week. Um, so it'll be a, a very different looking uh, uh, race tonight, I think. And, and you'll see, obviously, you know, some of those other guys, you know, kind of rise to the top now with some, with some of those kind of really talented eye racers uh, in the mix. But just to give you an idea of some of the names on the list, uh, JJ Yaley, Justin Grant, uh, Chase Briscoe's on there, Kevin Thomas Jr., Tyler Courtney, Thomas Meserol, Zeb Wise, Tanner Thorson, Christopher Bell, um, you know, a lot of the the kind of who's who guys that you would expect to see. Buddy Kofoid, Brady Bacon, Jason McDougall, like a, a lot of those USAC names are included on this list. Um, and it's a similar list for Saturday's uh, race as well. If you want to watch, both of those races are going to be live on Flow Sports uh, are on flow racing tonight's race gets underway at 9 p.m eastern drivers will race non-wing sprint cars at knoxville with the winner taking home 500 dollars. saturday's invitational also starts at 9 p.m eastern live on flow racing with drivers competing in midgets at fairbury um, i'll have a full rundown of tonight's program um, on the show tomorrow and then we will I'll, I'll probably talk about the weekend stuff a little bit uh, on tomorrow's show as well and then we'll obviously have a recap for that on Monday uh, to give you an idea of how those programs went uh, as I mentioned yesterday I've started adding in some of those pay-per-view shows back on to the uh, watch tonight schedule on dirt tracker um, obviously there's no actual racing going on but I, I wasn't thinking and, and obviously as as these 
you know, streaming providers come up with other programming to include on their service, um, they're gonna have stuff on their schedule. So I went ahead and started adding that stuff back in. That'll be the virtual races, the watch parties, the archived races, things like that. Um, you know, uh, the, the the USEC Thunder Relived, the, the Weekend Dirt Vision watch parties, all of that stuff will be included on there. So as that stuff pops up, um, I'll definitely be adding to that schedule. Um, hopefully we get to some live action, you know, racing again soon, but until then you can keep up with all of that streaming stuff there. Uh, you can find all of that stuff at dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Um, that's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow with a new show. You can find Dirt Tracker daily on Apple podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe, leave me a review and tell your friends. You can also watch the show on YouTube and Facebook. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com and you can follow along with the show at facebook.com slash dirttracker twitter.com slash dirt tracker and the website itself dirt tracker.com you can follow me on twitter at justin underscore fiedler uh, you can sign up for the dirt tracker weekly newsletter as well thanks for tuning in i will see everybody tomorrow on dirt tracker daily